Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man back in the studio, and today we're taking a look at the big announcement for Warcry. Chameleon Skinks Hunt Jade Masked Zinch Cultist in the new Warcry box, Sundered Fate. So I'm not going to lie, I was super excited for this. We kind of got a preview of the train, kind of got a preview of the team. This looks good. Gloomy root halls filled with treasure are just a fragment of the true bounty resting at the heart of the Ravening Ruin. The down Seraphon Temple ship once known as the Eye of Kotek. It's time to venture deeper into Talaxis, where two new warbands are preparing to battle over a mysterious found within. So, cool little piece of art right there. You can watch the uh, video if you want, but we're going to check out the full article here. Sundered Fate is a new box set for Warcry, taking us further into the heart of Narwood. It introduces updated terrain features, new campaigns, and two all-new warbands. The Scaled Hunters of Hanshi and the Iconclastic Cultists of the Jade Obelisk. All right, so here is the new box art. Looks pretty awesome too. Definitely super, super creepy, like the jade mask thing going on there. So I was curious how the terrain was going to be, if it was going to be an all skink team. Like the chameleon skinks look super cool, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be a little more of a mixed seraphon team. Uh, but it does look like an all skink team. And then these new guys, and then some more similar looking train to uh, what was in the last box set, but not exactly. Like the little pieces that's definitely the same little barricade sprue uh, but these pieces are different so very cool little expansion and we don't have to have like too much redundancy in our creepy finger forest the power emanating from the ravening ruin is so rich and intoxicating more and more war bands are breaching the borders that the seraphon have drawn around the eye of kotek the hunters of honshi a stealthy band of chameleon skink guardians don't like that one bit so the lore is basically this, uh, you know, grandiose Seraphon temple spaceship crash to the ground. And now that's what's causing all the craziness in the Narwood. So very cool setting. I like it. I know a lot of people were kind of divided on it. Uh, it was really growing on me. I liked it from the beginning and uh, I'm only liking it more and more. And these guys are putting it over the top. Very, very cool. So here we have like a little musician action. Clearly has like a blowgun here. This one's got like a couple spears, I'm guessing, for throwing and stabbing a shield very very cool little helmet skull yeah i'm liking these guys a lot uh they have sort of like a i mean it's a lizard but turtle looking shield the bolas that looks like i don't know if those yeah probably just rocks inside of them so it looks like they'll have decent range if everybody has pretty much bolas or a blowgun that's pretty good it could just be for an ability though we'll have to wait and see uh but very cool i like the model super dynamic yeah, really cool. I like them. I like them a lot. Yeah, I'm I'm really liking them. I really do. Everybody has those bolas. Some guys have shields. Other ones have the blowguns. So it looks like maybe the blowguns are the better of the weapons. There's some definitely some melee in there. Yeah, really good feel to them. And they're sort of like the guardians. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, what is this? The cunning chameleon skinks who protect the down void ship are all cold-blooded in their tenacity and confounding their prey with poison blowpipes and masterful guerrilla tactics. The armor-clad warriors known as Haunchy's Claws call on their enchanted helms to terrify trespassers with mighty roars, while flocks of trained terror wings harry their foes from above. Okay, so I don't know if these are just new beasts in general or if these are specific to the skinks. Oh, really nice looking models right here. Really like nice looking models. They definitely have like the kind of shell as opposed to like your typical kind of feathered look. Um, very dinosaur looking. I like them. So three of those as well. So that's 13 models right there. The latest invaders are a terrifying cult known as the Jade Obelisk. Hailing from the accursed city of Nefrikar, these warriors have struck a doomed pack with an eldritch entity known as the Speaker in the Stone. Gaining great resilience and power at the low, low cost of their bodies slowly turning to stone. So that's not bad. You just slowly turn to stone, but you sure are powerful till then. Very, very cool. This is absolutely awesome. Um, I like everything about this. You could do some pretty awesome paint jobs with this. It has just enough detail, but then leaves a little bit to your own abilities. The stone on the back is a little sus because you know that thing's heavy, but uh, it looks really cool. So awesome. Oh no, this has got some Indiana Jones vibes right here. A little sacrifice, like holding up the heart. 
super creepy jade masks. Yeah, these are pretty awesome here. Okay, and then we have two of these guys. Now, these look really, really similar to each other. Now, obviously, they're not the same model. But, man, maybe one could have been holding it up and one down. Um, I do like the, uh, can't really see them, but how eccentric the little picks look. The jade masks are definitely super, super creepy. These guys look well armored also. So, I'm guessing they're not going to be uh, too speedy. But they should be tough. We've got a giant hammer type thing going on here. Big old bow. Yeah, these look great. Wow, these are two really nice warbands. Uh, I like that, uh, you know, we have like the chaos kind of cult one. And then we also have a just completely different one in the lizard man. Yeah, real nice here. It's got like a pick and a uh, hammer. The other one's got a couple hammers. Oh, what do we got going on here? What even is that thing? Is that its face right here? I don't know. I have to see a different angle. Oh, maybe it's like a bird facing forward. I have to see a different angle on this thing. It's super creepy and weird. So, sort of like tentacle monster. Huh, interesting. Um, this model looks awesome. I really like this. That looks like a D&D &D character or maybe a villain right there. Very, very cool. Yeah, these are awesome. Awesome. I'm loving it. Led by the Nephrite Priestess who feeds their self-made altars with a bloody sacrifice. The Jade Obelisk are also joined by an Obelisk Bearer a hunched figure carrying a chunk of the colossal jade monument that first birthed the bird-like speaker. Okay, so that tells us a little bit about them. The priestess is the uh, one with the heart. The little um, obelisk bearer is the guy carrying the big old rock. And then I guess that speaker is that bird weird thing. I don't know. Hopefully there's some more pictures of it. The cult's purpose is to pulverize the monuments and faces of all who oppose them with hammers and war picks. And the surviving edifices of the Eye of Kotek are next on the list. Once they're done with their victims, they cut out their still beating hearts, satisfy the hunger of their demonic, idolarch companions. Very grim. I feel like the skinks are just like, we're defending our house. And these guys are like, we're going to take everything to pieces. <laughs> very, very uh, different motives here. All right, so here's our three main terrain pieces. This looks super cool. We got like the little skin out. We kind of peeped this in the video. So we had sort of spotted this from a distance. Not great pictures, but had an idea what was coming. This is cool. It's like full of bones down in there. I must be where the dog lives or something. I don't know. And then here, uh, this looks pretty cool as well. This sort of has like a little ground level, a little bit elevated, a second level, and then a big sort of perch for the third level. So very cool. This thing looks like it's going to be big. Has like nice little uh, drapage going on there. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. And then this one looks really good as well. And this was the sort of like uh, top piece and wall that we had spotted in the other video. Yeah, really nice looking terrain. Definitely going to make a nice Gnarlwood expansion. This particular knot of the Gnarlwood is represented by even more fleshy gnarl oaks. Plus a scattering of palisades and ruins. New to the box are bamboo platforms for your cheeky chameleon skinks to skulk about from on high. Plus a comfy hollow refuge, which gives a glimpse of how warbands might survive in such a hostile environment. So here we got some nice pictures. I mean, this looks awesome. This looks very cool. Very well taken pictures. The models all look awesome. The setting looks like epic from these pictures. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of this. I'm really liking this set. I mean, this is perfect. These nasty meat trees and horrible hovels give you plenty of ways to set up your battlefield straight out of the box and mix and match with existing gnarlwood terrain to expand your options further. Warband Tome Stealth and Stone contains all the lore, special rules, missions, and campaign material you need to play, while the core rules are free to download here. So yeah, if you're not aware, uh, there is a link to download the full core rules for Warcry. It's like 30 pages almost uh, for free, so very, very cool. And then obviously you can still get a hold of the core book if you want a physical copy of it as well. But awesome of Games Workshop to do that. Definitely good for the hobby. Yeah, this looks awesome. Like I said, super like epic scale. Very, very nice looking set here. I'm liking all the models, the terrain, everything. I guess the only complaint, if I have to be a critic, is uh, they could have given us different scatter terrain right here. Because the first box has two of this sprue already. So we're already going to have two of each of these pieces of scatter terrain. Now we're going to have three each. So cool, but they could have went a little above and beyond on that one. But very, very nice set. Definitely excited for this. Uh, looks absolutely awesome. Uh, maybe I can do a 
marathon video where I paint all of it together since I haven't even touched the terrain from the last set. Uh, this is great though. I absolutely love it. I can't even imagine what we're going to have by the end of the season. Super, super exciting. So uh, let me know what you think. Also, obviously, if you're as exciting as me for all these new models, looks like the box set is 23 new models, 10 each for the two new warbands, and then our three little beasts there as well. And then obviously a real nice set of terrain, three large pieces of terrain, some bridges to connect them together, and then some scattered terrain as well. And then obviously, you know, it'll come with the board, the book with all the rules, and then these 23 miniatures. So very nice. I will definitely be picking this up. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, if you are into these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's a free way to help out the channel. Definitely helps me grow and uh, see what kind of videos you guys are interested in. And then obviously, if you're into Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warkai, or Horus Heresy, I do daily uploads, reactions, reviews, and news, painting, modeling, conversion tutorials. But that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.